Welcome to the Austrian German tutorial. In this tutorial, I'd like to give you a short introduction into the Viennese dialect. Although we can find various types of accents and dialects in Vienna, we can distinguish two main aspects. On the one hand, there is the so called Schönbrunner Deutsch, which is similar to Standard German and goes way back to the Habsburg monarchy. On the other hand, there is the Viennese dialect, which has numerous influences and often includes slang words. At the end of the video, I'll reveal two tricks to practice Viennese German. Additionally, the Viennese dialect is ideal for grumbling. So please stay tuned. The learning goal of this video is to learn some important aspects about the dialect of Vienna. As the Schönbrunner Deutsch is similar to Standard German and rather easy to understand, we will focus on the Viennese dialects and accents that include slang words. First of all, let's take a look at the location. Vienna is the capital of Austria and it is located in the northeast of Austria and has around 2 million inhabitants. Now let's take a look at some examples to get a better insight into the accent and dialect of Vienna. First of all, let's start with the word Vian. Vian. Vian is another word for Wien. Although Wien is most common, we will come across Vian every now and then. For instance, there is a music festival called Vian Hian meaning listening to Vienna. In Vienna, many people like using long vowels. For example, was, erst, debat. Besides, I becomes a. If we take a look at the Austrian map, we can see that in the eastern parts, people say a for I. And in the western parts, Austrians tend to use wa instead of a. Here are some examples for the Viennese dialect. I know, ich weiß, becomes ich weiß. I mean, ich meine, in standard German, becomes ich mein. One, eins in standard German, becomes eins. Eins. In the dialect of Vienna, the so-called Madlinger L plays an important role. It's pronounced as a dark L and seems to have a Czech origin. For instance, there is a TV commercial with the slogan So schnell wie die Annabelle, meaning as fast as Annabelle. Schnell Annabelle. Furthermore, am is used for in and im. Have you seen him? Hast du ihn gesehen? Becomes Was dem gesehen? Das gehört ihm in Standard German becomes Das gehört ihm. Common question tags in the Viennese dialect are Gö or Nicht wahr. They combine isn't it, hasn't it and doesn't it. For example, Das ist schön, nicht wahr? Or Das ist schön, Gö means that's beautiful, isn't it? If you want to say a little bit, you can use a bisel in Vienna. A bisel. In standard German, ein bisschen. For instance, a bisel mehr is a little bit more. Instead of sehr, people from Vienna often use ur for very. Very good may sound like ur gut, ur levant, ur lesig. Additionally, the Viennese dialects include short communication. A typical example would be, instead of how are you, rather bad, Viennese may sound like und, der, but. Grumbling is an essential part of the Viennese culture, and therefore you find a lot of words and phrases for grumbling. Even for grumbling, we can find many Viennese words. For instance, Ranzen, Jamen, 
Surah Shinfen. For example, if you want to say something bad or stupid, you can choose among many words or phrases. This is there, but a Wahnsinn, zum Narisch werden, so Blödsinn, Schwachsinn, nachher auf. Another important aspect of the Viennese culture is the so-called Wiener Schmäh. Wiener Schmäh is a typical form of communication. First it may sound a little bit rude, but it is meant rather humorous. It definitely takes some time to understand it. Now it is time to take a look at some typical Viennese food. I want to focus on sausages and coffee. At the so-called Würstelstand you find various types of sausages. The most common sausages are the Frankfurter, the Debreziner or Brunwurst. Besides, the Bosner is very popular. It is similar to a hot dog, but filled with fried sausages, onion and curry. The most difficult order is a Eitrige mit einem Bugel und einem 16 Blech. That's a sausage with cheese, a slice of bread and a beer from the 16th Viennese district. I won't translate it because it would reduce your appetite dramatically. Above all, we can find many Kaffeehäuser where you are able to enjoy your coffee in a special atmosphere. One of the most famous Viennese coffees is the Melange, which is similar to a cappuccino. The Verlängerte can be compared with the Americano. The Verkehrte means upside down, which is a cafe latte. Fiaca is an espresso with whipped cream and rum or schnapps in it. Let's take a look at some important words you come across very often in Vienna. Levant is awesome. Levant. Deppert, stupid. Deppert. Bim, stram. Bim. A basil. Is a pub, Basel. Masel is luck, Masel. Baba is a form to say goodbye, Baba. As promised, I'd like to introduce you two ways to practice the Viennese dialects. On the one hand, it may be a good idea to listen to Wiener Lieder, which can be called Viennese folk music. On the other hand, the TV series Ein echter Wiener geht nicht unter deals with the Viennese slang. Above all, Mundel, the main character, uses slang words all the time. In formal contexts, you shouldn't use this kind of language, but it helps you to understand Viennese German. I hope I could give you a little insight into the dialect of Vienna. Thanks a lot for watching the Austrian German tutorial. Have a nice day and see you in the next video of Wiedersehen.